<clears throat> What's up, people of the world? It's me again, Alex Swimmer, aka AP3 Jumped. Before I get interrupted by fucking fireworks again, <laughs> um, welcome back to another Wild Us episode review. Today, um, uh, go away, YouTube notification. Today, I'm reviewing the episode Wheel and a Deal. Now, this episode's about. It's about Lana and Lincoln again. We haven't had an episode about them in a very long time. Um, in this episode, they're like participating like a sort of like a go kart competition where they have to like make their own cart and in order to get a chance to meet to meet to meet with Bobby Fletcher again. Um, the uh, for Lana, it would be the second time. Um, uh, if you don't remember, this Bobby Fletcher is this race car driver in the show that. Uh, Lana idolizes, and uh, Lana's a huge fan of hers. And so the last time she saw her was in um, uh, Snow Way Out. And so she actually got a chance to... Um, I think she got a chance to um, um, be a part of her pit crew when she turns 18. So, uh, yeah, good for her. <laughs> so um, I didn't expect Bobby Fletcher to ever come back. I... Um, but this this was a good episode. Um, <clears throat> one of my thoughts, in a nutshell, um, it this was this was really fun. It was a really good episode for Lana Lincoln. I um, I loved watching the racing. I uh, I um, I really did like the lesson. I love the character dynamic between between uh, uh, Lana and Lincoln. Um, I like I did like I did like. Um, uh, the conflict between them was int was good, interesting to watch, and uh, that was that was very well done. And uh, Lincoln learned from his mistake rather quickly. And uh, she, and L Lana, she was she was actually um, she wasn't very understanding at first, but uh, after a while, she uh, she realized that Lincoln was just trying to be a good good big brother, because. Um, uh, yeah, Lincoln was basically trying to like, you know, make sure she was she had was um she the, the, Lincoln was trying to level the playing field because everyone else um in the episode didn't make their own cars. They like they had um like custom manufacturer or, or whatever, and so um, Lincoln saw that as cheating. So why not have him and Lana cheat? It's basically what, 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 that was basically his, what he was thinking, and so um, he was just trying to level the playing field for Lana. Lana didn't exactly appreciate that at first, but then she realized, like I said, she was dip, dip. <clears throat> he was just trying trying to be a good big brother to her. So um, and then Lana decides she wants to start a race all over again, go all the way back, and then she doesn't wind up fitting, crossing the finish line until until like n nighttime when everyone else is asleep, and. Um, <clears throat> Well, I was disappointed that no one saw that, but Bobby Fletcher herself did actually see that, and uh, Bobby was really impressed. And um, they, um, Lana took Bobby for a ride in uh, her cart that was like made from like a bathtub, I think. That was pretty neat. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's just this episode in a nutshell. This episode was a lot of fun to watch. It was um, it was very engaging. It was a lot of action in it, and. Um, so yeah, I uh, I uh, mostly have no complaints about the episode except for one thing. <sighs> Motherfucking Chandler showed up again. Um, yeah, um, even after his well, uh, we'll call it a redemption arc, I guess. If I could, well, if I could quote with two, if I could quote with both my hands, we would call that a redemption arc, which he didn't even have one. Um, I've seen plenty of other shows that that, that handle reform, that are able to reform antagonists like, a lot better and a lot more believably than fucking Chandler, but um, there's a lot more believable instances where um, an antagonist can become um, can become reformed, basically. So, yeah. Um, My Little Pony is a prime example of that. And there go the fireworks again. But yeah, um, I fucking hate Chandler. Um, yeah, I have nothing more to say about that. I just... He didn't seem to learn anything from his, like, quote-unquote, redemption arc either. 
So um, he's had a, this isn't his only m more recent appearance. His other m m more recent appearance that he's had was in the first episode of the new season of uh, the Listen Out Loud podcast. So yeah, um, yeah. I hope I don't see Chandler again for a while. Um, Flip is at least entertaining. I I don't really dislike Flip. I don't dislike him compared compared to Chandler. No, I don't really dislike Flip at all. Really, um, <laughs> he can be a bastard, but I don't dislike Flip at all. Let alone hate him. Chandler, on the other hand, I could do without him. I think all of us can. <laughs> but anyway, that's it for this uh, episode review. If you like it, if you like this episode, um, if you like this video, then don't forget to subscribe. Uh, like the video if you liked it, ring the bell to be notified of future videos I make. Uh, stay tuned for more Loud House and Cast Grinders episodes on the for like the rest of the week. And um, uh, I'm going to gear up for uh, uh, the, the new Super Smash Bros. character that's coming out tonight. Min Min is finally Min Min from the Arm series is finally coming out tonight. She's re she's expected to release between like eight and nine p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, there's one r cool random fun fact I wanted to say about the video. This is Asher Bishop's first role as Lincoln within it, it, within the actual TV series, and um, uh, Tex Hammond's last role as Lincoln was um, in Room and Horde, but I completely forgot to mention that. And uh, another cool fun fact: the storyboard artist apparently had no, it was difficult for her to board the episode because she just didn't really know how to draw cars. <laughs> but at the at the end, she was like, and I quote: "The end. Please never make me draw another car." <laughs> So yeah, that I thought that was a fun little tidbit to read. So uh, yeah, um, uh, my next review should be um, uh, Sand Hassles so, tomorrow. So look forward to that. <clears throat> Anyways, once again, I'm Alex Swimmer, aka AP3 Jumped. Thank you so much for watching until the end. That's it for me, and I will see you soon. Goodbye. I even ate ramen noodles in honor of Min Min today. I I I I I, I saved that specifically for today. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let y'all go. Goodbye.